super jam so I was like I have to wait for him hapo Mr. Price you all know hapo archives hakuna mtu aje archives so Mr. Price iko tu hapo so me I'm waiting for this guy akaka ameka sana and nikamkwale and I'm like Kwani where are you right now? Akanisho, amefika Koja. Yeah, Koja. <laughs> and then uh Koja Simbali, so I'm like let me just wait for him. 10 minutes imepita. Nikamcall tena and kamza, "Ai, kwani wewe ufiki? Why are you not arriving?" And he's like, uh, "I'm signing certain documents here. Let me send someone to come and pick you up." Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Makena. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Welcome back here to another episode. So today I'm doing like a live experience, something I experienced yesterday. I'll now I'll post this video a week from now. Okay, the reason I want to put out this video out there is to create awareness for someone who might be going through the same a similar experience or for someone to take caution like what was the thing especially nyinyi madem like everyone like you know in Kenya the the rate of unemployment is so high like honestly the rate of unemployment ni kubwa sana so unapata most of the youths ukisikia tu job opportunity like they jump into it without thinking without thinking about the risk without thinking that they might be putting themselves at risk by doing that it happened to me recently and not for the first time i've lost money when i join online scams so do you do those online marketing network marketing if network marketing is for you you just do it but This is not what I'm talking about today but let me just touch on it. Network marketing is not for everyone. Network marketing is hard. I've done it and I've lost money, a lot of money and you, you know when you get into those schemes, they give you promises of you'll get a lot of money, your money will double up so quickly. This kind of propaganda like it doesn't make sense at all. At him to nakwambia you just put 5000 and in less than two weeks you will have like 30000 and wewe sasa ju uko hauna pesa you're like eh this is a good opportunity anyways don't do that like network marketing if you're getting there like be careful you just be careful anyway let me talk about my recent experience i don't know how to start this <laughs> me i jump into anything but this time i wasn't thinking this time i wasn't thinking so uh i had this gig i met this guy and he was like you know what you have a nice body and i can give you a gig to do to model my clothes line cuz i'm also a photographer and i can shoot pictures of you and i can give you a certain amount of money And for me that was such a quick like it's a quick nini nini of getting money just wearing clothes and just get, taking nice pictures and I was like I also have a collection of a lot of pictures in different clothes like I love pictures anyways so um sikwana joa I don't know this guy that well and I jumped into this so he kept looking for me and kila time i call like kujja ni kubaya lunch suje nini for me i don't i can't take lunch from people i don't like i can't not because of anything but if you're a stranger to me a complete stranger no way na kama unataka kuniekea mchele and the way there are a lot of mchele stories nowadays so uh, i declined yoni ni akubaiwa lunch and why sh- why sh- should we include food in business you just okay it can but not in this case so um this day he calls me and is like today we are doing a photo shoot 
So this is the second time I'm going to meet this guy and I agree. So I was in school and uh, I was like let me just get out of school nitoke shule and then to patane and we do the shoot and kuna hizo promises ji like we will do a makeover for you we will do nails so ji those kind of nini you know i don't do makeup so i was also excited for that <laughs> anyways so i get to town and it's like anasema ko the carrot by the time natoka shule pia alikuwa anatoka the carrot so uh so that in that case we would arrive town at the, at almost the same time so me nilifika town mbele yake so when i get to town is like see you come bali ni kwapa ngara na kwa kwa jam so I'm, i was like i have to wait for him hapo mr price you all know hapo archives hakuna mtu aje archives so mr price iko tu hapo so me i'm waiting for this guy akaka ameka sana and nikam call and i'm like Kwani where are you right now? Akanisho, amefika Koja. Yeah, Koja. <laughs> and then uh Koja simbali so I'm like let me just wait for him. 10 minutes imepita. Nikamcall tena nikamza, "Ai kwani wewe ufiki? Why are you not arriving?" And he's like, uh, "I'm signing certain documents here. Let me send someone to come and pick you up." So, akatuma mse. Akuje anichukue. This guy was coming to pick me up. The moment I saw him, I like it was a big red flag, red flag. He had so many cuts on his face. Like he looks like someone was been into so many fights. But you know what they say, don't judge a book by its cover. You just go and go, just take this risk. So me I'm like I get paranoid but I'm like let me just maybe it's an opportunity a chance is kwa hivi so this this other guy mwenye ametuma huyu akuja ni pick ana Nicole tena and is like this guy will bring you to me kwenye Nico so akasema ako Moy Avenue so uh no kwapo archives place yale kwa nasema sikumbuki that name i kwa so far but uyo mse mwenye amekuja kuni pick he took he took me to the bs bus station and you know how kwenye uko kuna kuanga stressful so kufika huko uyo mse na nicole tena kaniambia uh, nataka ufanywe nails na makeup ndio twende tufanye shoot and is not there and is like you just enda kwa hiyo saloni nyutapelekwa and do those things and it was like ana jana na huyo msewa salon so huyo mse the one with the cuts takes me to the salon kufika huko hey this guy this guy um the one with the salon doesn't know any of them like he tells me he doesn't know any of those people so this is another big red flag because first of all was he was supposed to take me a long way avenue now so say me kwa bus station like what the hell what are you doing i man say so that rang such a big red flag to me especially the part the salon guy said aju you say so you say like wait wait ngia po salon and uni to me till number i'm paying for the nails and everything like ni kanza kona hiyo ta ni bullshit this is a, this, is a, this is a ton of bullshit nika jam i felt so bad and i was like oh, so na jaribu kunizungusha hivi and at the end of the day i will, i won't get nothing and i was like maybe i might even lose my phone or maybe they might do something else to me so nikambiwa mse no me i can't do this i have to go so i left me nikaisha and this guy kept calling me he kept calling me but i had to block his number and everything anyways this all experiences to teach you jichunge hata kama unatafuta kazi unatafuta hizo gigs manze be careful when the deal is too good think twice me was just lucky i was lucky by the way not so just same the whole story but god protected me you just pray be there before i went to meet this guy i prayed i told god god i don't know this guy that i don't okay i just know him his name his face but i don't know him like the kind of person he is 
So I prayed because I'm a, you God just guide me and everything and he did. So in everything you do also don't forget to pray and God did guide you in everything. Thank you so much for watching if you've come to this and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ciao, I love you so much. <laughs>